Hey guys, welcome back to M6 Trains. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Lionel Standard O center beam flat car. Alright, so right out of the box here you can tell we have a pretty nice detailed car. Alright, before we jump into the details of the car, I wanted to talk about Standard O real quick and what that is. Now this is only my second Lionel purchase I've ever made, so I'm, I'm not too familiar with Lionel, but... In the catalog, it says that Standard O is scale and size, but simplified in detail, which it definitely is. Um, and now in the catalog, it says it's new, um, but in the description, it says the return of the Standard O freight cars. So I'm not sure if Standard O has been done before, or if this is new for 2020, or, or what the deal is. I'm assuming this is an old tooling that they've used, but I don't know if they've done the standard O runs before, but if not, um, this is a new way of them getting scale freight cars out for a good price, and this definitely is that for sure. And the price on this car is $45, um, but if you go through a good dealer, like I got this one through Charles Rowe, and I paid about... 32 or 34 dollars i'm not sure which one but it was definitely under 35 dollars and for around that price this is a great way to expand your fleet and that's exactly what lionel's trying to target here um like the description says it's a scale model which is great because it, it'll work with all your scale engines and other cars but it's you know simple there's not much detail but there's a lot of good decal stickers which is nice so it's definitely simplified, but for $30, you can't beat that. It's a very good price. Uh, it's still good quality, and I'll show you the details of this car now. All right, here we are at the truck. I've tilted the car to the side a little bit so you can see the detail on the truck. Um, they're not spring-loaded or anything, but they do have molded in spring detail. Uh, they're nice, solid metal trucks. They seem and feel to be of good quality and solid so no issues there for thirty dollars and uh, down over to the coupler it's also metal and you got some nice spring action there here we are at the bottom of the car I turned it over on its side just so I could pick up the car information better with my camera for some reason it wasn't focusing but as I pan over you could see all the nice decal information printed on the car and there's a lot of decals and information for $45 it looks really nice and it's the same information on the other side taking a look at the load itself now um, I wish the load was a little bit better but for $40 um, it kind of is what it is. The load isn't really realistic or anything looking. It's like a super white, plain wood color, which I'll probably wind up uh, weathering and detailing myself to look a little bit more realistic. Um, but the nice thing is, for $40, um, this load is removable. And the way they do it is it just kind of slides out, and it's held in place but just two um, pegs but they're solid so they're not going anywhere but it's really simple to remove um, but let me show you the whole car without the load in there and you can get a better look at that all right here's the car without the load inside and as you can see I got the Union Pacific um, I like this one the best because one I don't have much Union Pacific but two um, Lionel offered two other cars uh, Milwaukee Road and the trailer train in a, a brighter yellow and knowing Lionel that color wind up coming out like a highlighter yellow so I definitely like this more dull more school bus yellow that they have here which is more prototypical looking than a highlighter which I definitely was not interested in getting a headache by looking at um, but this is a nice color it doesn't hurt to look at um, like I said it's like a school bus yellow um, so it's a nice color and I'll look and go in here and you can see the nice decal information which is all legible and that's 
all over the car. But it looks looks good. And for forty five dollars, yeah, the detail isn't crazy, but you get a lot of car information stickers and it's scale, so you can't go wrong. Here on the bottom floor where the load sits, you can see the two holes that are drilled for where the pegs sit, so it's secured. And then you can also see on the bottom of the car, there is a tread on the floor. Real quick, I wanted to mention as well, the um, the loads have holes drilled at the top here. So you could stack the lumber pieces of wood together like this. I don't know if you had like a, a lumber scene or something like that, but it is cool to see that you could stack these and do something with them if you have like a little lumber yard scene. Here's a shot of the side of the car, and here you could see that they have a separately applied brake wheel and some molded in step ladders and some stickers they're not stickers but you know what I mean up top and they're all legible and like they said there's not a whole lot of detail but there is some molded in detail but for forty five dollars this is what you get not bad but just wanted to show you what that looks like. Alright guys, I got the lumber loaded back up into the car and ready to roll around the track for a little bit. Um, but before I go, I just wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. And if you're just tuning into this ch uh, video, make sure to also please like, comment, and subscribe as well. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good day.